We are going to show you how to build your own mealworm farm. Mealworms are excellent treats and nutrition for your chickens or reptiles, but they're really expensive at the stores. Sometimes a small bag could cost you as much as $25. And so with a really small investment, you could set up your own and have your own mealworms forever. I have looked at multiple models and setups for mealworm farms, and this one by far seems the most convenient. It's conveniently on wheels. You have three compartments. The top is for beetles, the middle is for larvae, and the bottom is for mealworms. As a beginning mealworm farmer, you're gonna start off with ordering live mealworms. And so we're gonna show you what this setup looks like before they transform. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the other bins now, just so I don't have to worry about it later. The first one being the top layer where the beetles are going. And I'm taking out a bottom of the plastic drawer. You can do this with a sharp blade or knife. Just make sure that you leave a lip around the very edge. Next, you're gonna cut out some window screen that's gonna sit inside and fit right on top of that lip. Then hot glue your fabric to the inside of your tray and make sure to look underneath and hot glue any open spot so it's solid. Your top level or beetle layer is complete and it's time to move on to the second. This part is optional because there is enough aeration in this three drawer system, but I'm adding some holes using a 3 8 drill bit around the container for extra air circulation. This layer will be for the eggs and larvae, and then the bottom layer will be for the mealworms and that will be where you start. When you first get your mealworms, you're gonna need some sort of substrate and either wheat germ or rolled oats will work just fine. For a hydration source, you can use a raw carrot, potato, or celery. The mealworms really seem to gravitate to the celery. These you'll need to change out every few days so they don't get moldy. And then some little place of coverage like an egg carton or some newspaper or a little boxing material. In about one week, we'll start to see some of these mealworms turn into beetles in which case we'll separate them and put them into the beetle section.